Ready for medical career growth? Yes, you are in the right place. Hello, this is Dr. Neema Bish, BDS by degree and a pharma professional. As a founder of Career in Pharma, our mission is to guide medical professional towards remarkable success in the pharma industry. With a track record of over 700 plus students, trained and placed into various premier pharma companies, we are here to elevate your journey. Hello everyone, once again I welcome you all to Career in Pharma and I hope you all are well good at your places and uh, you know continuously putting your efforts to get the job as well. Yes, so with this in this direction today in this video we are going to talk about what is adverse event, what is adverse drug reaction, side effects and difference between all these three. Now let me tell you this is one of the very 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 important interview question for pharmacovigilance profile for freshers or even experience whatever position you are this is the basic question interview questions each and every company is going to ask you if you are applying for pharmacovigilance profile yes so let's begin with this video and let me tell you in in future for around a month also we are coming up with different interview questions where i will give you clarity on the question and how you can answer as well yes now what is adverse drug reaction now whenever any any company any interviewer uh, you know any person who is taking your interviews asking you any question you should start with the definition now better if you you know learn the WHO definition or, or the exact definition given in the standard documents it is always better to learn those definition but yeah if it is not the case that you are a person who is not able to learn or remember the things you can simplify the things for you uh, so that in interview you, you you can just convey the basic meaning and not necessary you know a word 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 by word you learn the things but always better if you know the definition standard definition yeah so with this what is adverse drug reaction now adr is also known as adverse drug reaction now what is the definition of adverse drug reaction now as per who that is the world health organization ADR, adverse drug reaction, is a response which is noxious and unintended. Noxious means bad, unpleasant, not good and unintended means which we don't want. Yeah, these kind of effects we don't want, right? So, this is a noxious and an unintended response, okay, by a drug and which occurs at normal doses. Now, this normal dose could be anything means if we are taking any drug for any preventive action or prophylactic then normal dose used in human for prophylaxis or diagnosis or therapy now di diagnosis means for example uh, you must be uh, thinking that what could be this diagnosis right for example there are many dye we used in many uh, you know scopies yeah even in uh, this uh, NGO, angiogram and all those stuff we use dye also right so there by using this dye we are going to diagnose the ailment in the patient so that is the diagnosis now prophylaxis like we take vitamin supplements those could be prophylaxis so that we are preventing uh, you know any damage to our body because of deficiency of any vitamin so that is one of the example of prophylaxis that is preventive Diagnosis if you are using any drug or any chemical for diagnosing any disease or therapy means for treating any disease right or modification of physiological function in some cases we use drug to modify the physiological functions like hormonal therapy and all those stuff are there yes so whenever you try to learn the definition always break each and every word in that definition by this way you never has to remember or you never has to mug up the things because if you learn meaning of each and every word in the definition there is no need to mug up trust me guys now in front of you i was talking about adr each and every word right now 
now even i don't have to mug up right although there is a definition in front of me but while explaining to you now it's in my mind right so adverse drug reaction is a response because of drug which is noxious and unintended and occurs in human at a dose which is used for prophylaxis or diagnosis or therapy or alteration to physiological function right so now it's become so easy right no need to mug up the things yes so this is called adverse drug reaction now no very important thing you have to note down is adverse drug reaction is always related to drug if anything we are saying it's a adverse drug reaction it means it is always related to drug there is no need to identify why this reaction is happening where we are very much sure that this is 100% related to drug that is adr now examples of uh, very common adr there could be definitely many more if you just dig deeper but a few common one are like liver damage with tetracycline group of antibiotics yes diarrhea with amoxic amoxicillin group of antibiotics all these are examples of adverse drug reaction yes so i hope adverse drug reaction is clear to you right now in upcoming videos we will also uh, bring uh, the classification of adr different classes of adr okay so as of now adverse drug reaction is any noxious and unintended response because of drug which occurs in human at prophylactic dose or diagnostic dose or therapeutic dose or dose which is used to alter the physiological function yes so easy to remember right and it is always related to drug an example liver damage with tetracycline group of antibiotics and diarrhea with amoxicillin group of antibiotics which is most common adr happening with these group of antibiotics now definition of adverse drug event so this ade adverse drug event we call it as adverse event also so adverse drug event or adverse event ae both are same now what is this now again i am going to tell you definition now as per who this is any untoward medical occurrence okay this is a occurrence medical occurrence this is not any response or reaction why let me tell you in the you know upcoming thing yes so as per who it is an untoward medical occurrence that may present during treatment with a drug but which may or may not necessarily have a causal relationship with this treatment yes now here we are not using the word uh, you know therapeutic dose intended i mean therapeutic dose prophylactic dose or diagnostic dose why we are not using this word because adverse event is a medical occurrence where we are not sure that if this this event this occurrence is because of the drug only yes it may or may not related to drug now it may happen if the patient is taking high dose also it may happen the patient is taking low dose also it may happen if the patient is misusing the drug so that's why i have not used the word therapeutic dose yeah and uh, diagnostic dose all those things i have not used because here we have to find out the reason of this occurrence that's why when we are not sure that's why that thing is not there in the definition yes so now i hope it is easy to remember so adverse event is simply a untoward medical occurrence we are not saying even response also because we are not sure that it is because of that drug only yes so it is simply a untoward medical occurrence and unwanted unwanted noxious okay so it is a untoward medical occurrence that may present during treatment with a drug but which may or may not necessarily have a causal relationship means it is not always related to drug or always related to the treatment yes so that is the adverse event now very important difference between is adverse drug reaction and adverse event is in case of adverse drug reaction adr the reaction is always related to the drug remember this but this adverse event the occurrence which is happening that we call as adverse event may or may not necessarily related to the drug that is the primary difference okay so what we do in case of adverse event whenever we get adverse event reports complaint reports from patient our thing inside pharmacovigilance is to find the relationship between the drug and the event so that we can conclude why this medical occurrence has happened why this event has happened yes 
Now examples of adverse drug event is okay. There could be many example. One common example is let's say the patient is is on cetirizine and diclofenac. Yes. So after taking cetirizine and diclofenac, after uh, next day of taking cetirizine and diclofenac, the patient falls suddenly. Okay. On the second day of taking medicine. Now here this occurrence of fall, the event of fall is not directly related to any of this drug, diclofenac as well as cetirizine. Okay. It is not related to any effect of the drug or anything like that. But this fall could be maybe because of cetirizine, the patient was in little bit of drowsiness because of that the patient may fall but this fall is not directly related to the drug so this is one of the example there could be many right now this adverse event this medical occurrence could be anything means it could be any physical occurrence physical event like which you see in your body let's say pimple rash yes it could be a psychological event psychological means which is related to your psychology maybe you are in anxiety, maybe your mood is depressed, so that it could be psychological event also. It could be a laboratory event also. Without any external symptom signs, it could be a laboratory event where simply your, uh, you know, blood parameters are increasing, maybe elevated blood sugar. Yes, and it could be increase in the severity or the frequency of pre-existing symptom. Let's say you have a tooth pain and after taking any drug, your tooth pain increases. Okay, so that is the increase in severity of the existing condition. Condition, Yes, so this is example of adverse event and uh, what, what could be, it can be physical event, it can be psychological event, it can be laboratory event, it can be increase in the severity of already existing uh, uh, condition. Yes, so this is about adverse event once again remember adverse drug reaction is always related to drug and adverse event may or may not related to drug and we that thing we try to find out in our pharmacovigilance yes now very important what is side effect now side effect most of you know right but side effect is always an another so side effect is something which always are expected these are always expected we know that it's going to happen because it's happening because of the uh, the class of action of the drug because of the mechanism of action of that specific drug because of the pharmacological property of the drug the effect which is happening is known as side effect again no one wants side effect so yeah side effect also an un unwanted effect but often unavoidable often unavoidable why we are saying often unavoidable because in some cases where you know the side effects are not very good and patient not able to tolerate then we have medicine also which act as an antidote to those side effects yes so that's why we are saying often unavoidable because in some cases we can't avoid them in some cases we can avoid them by you know just uh, uh, making changes in the dose or maybe we can give some antidote kind of thing so these are the un unwanted effect but often unavoidable and pharmacodynamic effect these are the pharmacodynamic effect happening because of the mechanism of action of the drug and it occurs at a therapeutic dose remember this occurring at a therapeutic dose which we are giving to treat any disease so these are expected ones like i said because of the mechanism of action it is happening so these are expected mild in nature yes these are always mild in nature and are self-resolving also so most of the cases it is self-resolving everyone knows that these side effects may going to happen after taking any drug so these are predicted one expected ones so these can be predicted from the pharmacological profile of the drug and known to occur in a given percentage of drug recipients now example for example alopecia with anti-cancer agent is because of the mechanism of action the way the anti-cancer agent works alopecia is happening other example is dryness of mouth with atropine so that is again because atropine the mechanism of action action of atropine is like that because you will feel the dryness it decreases the secretion in the body so because of this mechanism of action this dryness of mouth is happening that's why atropine used as a pre-anesthetic medicine as well and have anti-secretory properties yes so side effect may be bad in one context yes where we don't want that side effect but the same side effect can be good in other contexts where we can use that side effect as a major part of treatment for example 
minoxidil everyone knows minoxidil is a anti hypertensive agent yes and is also helps in hair growth so that is one of the side effect for the person who don't want hair but if anyone is bald or you know uh, is anyone is not having hair now minoxidil uh, minoxidil is in use for hair growth also so that is something good for one person another for bad for another person yes so example of side effect nausea in chemotherapy it is due to the pharmacological effect of chemotherapy drug and not due to the principal effect for which the drug was selected means principal effect means chemotherapy we are giving in patient who have cancer where we want to uh, reduce the growth we want to stop the growth of the tumor cell and in doing so these agent they also stop the growth of normal cells and because of many side effects happens right so principal effect we want to stop the growth of the tumor cell that is the principal effect right and because of this you know this nausea is also happening which is not the principal effect we are looking for right so this is the example of side effect now difference between adr and ai i always i already told you causal relationship adr always related to drug ae may or may not related to drug and that only we find inside pharmacovigilance yes so i hope uh, this adverse drug reaction adverse event and side effect is now clear to all of you so no need to mug up the definition always try to go behind each and every word that definition is saying you will be able to remember the things very easily and then you will see that not much effort is required also yeah so we'll be coming soon with some more interview questions this interview question series and with explanation we are going to do for the remaining 1 to 2 months so please don't miss our uh, our videos and uh, if you really like this content please subscribe to our channel share with your friends please don't forget to like this video and please subscribe so that you can get further notification whenever we are coming with next interview question yes so as of now for this video this is more than enough and will be coming soon with some fresh next video till the time i come again till that time please stay safe aware healthy updated and keep exploring new thing have a nice day bye bye